Greetings, homeschoolers. It's Jeremy Lyon here with another one of my Lion Bites. And today we're looking at uh, mathematics. Mathematics, but with a twist, because I have a special guest hiding under the silk, and he's a maths genius. <laughs> That's right. Mm. It's time for Monkey Maths with Christoph, the primate calculator. Now, I can ask Christoph, the clever monkey, any sum at all, and he'll write the answer down for us. So what about, ooh, 7 times 12? Off you go. Oh, he's thinking, he's thinking about it. And here they are. He's going to write it down. And then I need to, I need to, I need to move. I'll be honest, this, this was a lot better when he was alive. It's my father's old, old routine. You see, the monkey used to actually just tap his foot on the table to, you know, beat out the answer. And my father actually would just would strap hot coins to his feet and then just give him a neck pinch when he got to the right number. <laughs> um, yeah, different times, I'm sure. If it was alive today, there'd be a much more rewards-based training system. Anyway, he crept off to die behind the hot water tank in about 1978. Yeah. The, the monkey, not my, not my father, I should, well, I should throw him away, but I, I honestly don't know what bin he'd go in, this sort of mi mixed materials. And anyway, he's, uh, no, he's not, he's, I've got, he's lovely, I've got to keep him, his family, he used to, used to sleep in my bedroom. Well, worth bearing in mind that if you are thinking of buying a monkey for a child, they have a near permanent erection, and for a child to wake up to that every morning is, uh, Anyway, that's enough mathematics for one day. Um, keep studying your times tables, and I'll see you next time for more laugh, laughter and learning. I should, should not have had that many crab sticks, but they were a juice for quick sale.